My man Mountaineer Paul here has called out former West Virginia basketball player Jose Perez, and Jose Perez has chimed back. And we're going to talk about that right after this word from our sponsor. This episode of Hoops from the Hills is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive, where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. Brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you in the car or truck you've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or you can come in today to the home of friends and family pricing only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. What is up, College Hoops fans and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? My name is Coos. And my name is Mountaineer Drama Paul. And we present to you another episode of Hoops from the Hills. Guys, it's it's getting exciting here in Hoops from the Hills country. Paul and I just got finished doing a post-game live before we recorded this, just a few minutes before we recorded this. I'm on Twitter just browsing killing some time, getting ready to get in the shower. And what do I find but this lovely tweet? Mountaineer Paul says, at the end of the day, it shows why you got the boot. And I'm going, what's he talking about? Well, if you look right below it, folks, there was a tweet from Jose Perez that he put out earlier that says, thank you at Steve Massiello. Steve Massiello is an assistant coach. At Lou at uh, at St. John's, who just beat West Virginia. So, Paul, since this is involves you, my man, I'm handing it over to you. Take the ball and run with it. Yeah, man. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, we supported Jose Perez. I feel like through a lot of this, you know, the things he went through was similar to what Raekwon has gone through. Um, you know, and Jose. He wasn't perfect, you know. I mean, there was a lot of weird stuff on social media. Uh, certain things he said made you question some things. And then supposedly he was on board with Josh Shilert, uh, only to test the waters anyway, to return anyway. And it's always seemed to be this, this attention. And I get that. That's what this society can create for these young men and women in this day and age, especially when you're in the limelight. It would be an addicting drug, Coos. But in this situation, what, whether or not it's personal towards the coaching staff at West Virginia or Bob Huggins or whoever he is taking this tongue-in-cheek kind of shot at, uh, it, it's hurting us. You know what I mean? Because we got to look at that and think, well, we supported this guy, man. I, that's how I felt. Yeah, I had I was free and how free he was. I tried, I tried to get uh, people to sign a petition. I tried to get people to make that the hashtag go viral and somewhat it did from other people, not just me. Um, you know, and we tried what we could from fans perspective to to make Jose feel welcome while he waited for a year. And the city of Morgantown, from what I understand, did the same. Uh, basically treated him like royalty for a while. And I get the end of the situation that happened, happened. And he was kicked to the curb uh, and, and don't know exactly why, but we were told it was obviously some mat maturity issues going on there and don't know the full story with that. But to me, that has nothing to do with us and whether or not he went, and obviously based on the next tweet, he doesn't want to recognize that he's hurting us by saying, thank you, Steve Mazziello for whipping basically West Virginia's ass tonight. <clears throat> and then he talks about he ends up in a better situation. Just buckle up. I can promise you that was extremely personal. So I guess we're going to be experiencing more of these tweets from Jose Perez or whatever you want to call it. It's just sickening to me, dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you can you, – I'm pretty sure – you know, you call me a liar or whatever. Pretty sure you got the phone number of each and every one of these individuals. If you just want to text them, Jose Perez. But no, you want to do it publicly 
because that's what you live for, man. And it's, it's all about you. It's me, myself, and I. And, and that's how I feel about it. And I think that's how the bulk of Mountaineer Nation feels about it. While we thank you for your contributions and are sorry you couldn't play for this team, it's quite freaking obvious why you're not. Yeah, and and you know I'm not going to sh- I'm not going to show all the comments. Number one, we don't have time, and two, some of them are not are not really appropriate uh, appropriate to be showing on the show. But the fan base is not happy. West Virginia fan base has come out in full force and throwing all kinds of shade uh, at Jose Perez, if if you want to call it shade. Basically, defending the university, defending the team, uh, they didn't take kindly to this, uh, and for right and rightfully so, just like you didn't, and just like I did. Uh, now, the next tweet, obviously, Paul read that one to you. Says, "Buckle up, I promise you, it, it was personal." The next one, Paul chimes back. Paul's not taking it. Hey, Paul's Paul's put the gloves on, baby. He's ready to roll. He says, "It was personal. How I got on here for months, dude, for months, and supported you every freaking day, and I can vouch for that because we did it right here on this show." There were times I was against Jose Perez, and Paul defended him vehemently through it all. So when you post little jabs, it shows how much you care about us, the ones who cared about you. And Paul hit it out of the park with that one. Then here's what Jose has to say back. Got nothing to do with the fan base whatsoever. But here's the problem I have with that remark, Paul, and I'll let you give your thoughts on it too. It ain't just about the fan base. What about those guys that are out there on that court busting their rear ends, some of which he was on a team with last year. What does he have against those guys? It's If you have beef with the, with the coaches, that's one thing. But to come out and publicly bash the – what you did doesn't just affect the, the coaches. The players are involved in that game too, Jose. Do you have something against the players on that team? And maybe he does. I don't know. But if he doesn't, then what he did – if what he did is towards the coaches, then he needs to keep it off of Twitter because the players also see it. And it, and it doesn't appear to me that's who he has beef with, you know? And I don't think he's taking the players into consideration. What do you think about that? 100%. I think that's probably why the next couple of tweets were tweeted. Uh, these don't have anything to do with me, but if you want to go ahead and pull them up, Coons, I think it's a good segue into kind of what Emmett Matthews said. Um, and he said, you know, actually that's this, I apologize. The other one, Coos. Uh, yeah, that, that oh, one. Yeah, he he said, actually, move, I'm sorry. Yeah. Move on, bro. Emmett told him to move yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. And, and so I kind of, I didn't get Emmett's. That's uh, okay. It's action, in there. But, uh, it's in there. But yeah, it says move on, and, bro. And, and then so, Jose, Jose says, laugh my ass off. I bet. Yeah. Whatever that means. I don't even know which, means, which but. the way he's saying I bet it, it's definitely got some sarcasm to it. Uh, it's definitely a lazier way to say it. Usually it's all right, bet. But anyway, that's either here or there. It, it's obviously if you if you get into Twitter lingo or how kind of kids talk these days, uh, that's 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 a disrespectful ish way to say that. Okay. I bet, you know. A little bit lazy with that. Yeah. So anyway, he's um, – oh, sorry. No worries. Crap. So he said, never extra, because Emmett said, come on, man, fam, you're just doing the extra for no reason. So an extra just means that if it's not obvious, it means that he's kind of putting on, he's being a ham. Uh, he's basically cl- clamoring for attention. Yeah. And, and then never extra. I hit your line, which I'm, he's talking about the cell phone there. Mm-hmm. You could hit me back. Don't front on Twitter. That's the last thing I'm going to say. And we all know that's a lie. That's It's not going to be the last thing you're going to say. <laughs> he's been fronting on Twitter since he got to Morgantown, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a, he's being a hypocrite here. He just fronted on Twitter. I mean, how, how, how is that not a hypocritical statement right there? That's what you just did, right. Jose. I just yeah. – this really – the part I have an issue with, number one, like I mentioned, it, it affects the. It ain't just the coaching staff that he's going after here. In my opinion, it's the players, right? And you know, you always hear coaches and other people talk about. Well, this is eighteen to 20, 22 year olds we're dealing with. Jose Perez is like twenty five years old, man. He he should be mature enough to know better than to do this garbage. I get it that you're mad at the coaching staff. I get it that you felt like you were done wrong. 
that's fine. But to put it out publicly like that, when you have former teammates that you may, should be, I'm assuming are friends, still friends with on that team, is a slap to their face. You know, I just, I just don't like it. I think it's baloney, man. And and of course, the fan base is letting him have it. Like I said earlier, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty. Well, I, I recommend everybody <laughs> to go find it on Twitter if you have Twitter. Go find it and read the threads and the comments under it. It's in a very entertaining. You know, I think it's, being, it's putting Josh Tyler in a better light here. It looks like he maybe has shown some discernment in this situation uh, and, and kind of saying, hey, look, we're going to need this guy. He'd be very, very valuable on the court. But these shenanigans are probably going on, not not only just, you know, he probably, from things I've heard and read from some people, and this is all speculation, he was kind of acting like he was a made man in a lot of ways, you know, on around campus and mm-hmm. – Kind of like, kind of, you know, <laughs> here's a good way to compare it, in my opinion. Uh, what did Dana Holgerson say whenever they asked him if he was on the hot seat? Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. I got a, I got a fifteen million dollar buyout, no hot seat, you know, and, and that's kind of energy I, I've been told he kind of had, you know, yeah. like you guys need me, you know, so I'm gonna act up basically, like I'm not gonna go to class, I'm not gonna whatever. Um. I have never seen one report that says that outside of just other people mm-hmm. always want to throw that out there because, you know, I don't know the everything behind it. And I'm sure Jose is in the right on some situations here. But um, all this is doing is confirmation, right? Yep. From the trepidation that it looks like the coaching staff had, you're making them look right with every tweet. So. Yep. Well, and I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. Um, There was another person I was going to I was going to show another tweet here. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so this think, is a live situation, so it can yeah. be grown as we speak. Yeah, another another one I want to show here is uh, from a friend of the show, Ryan McIntyre, over from the Ryan and Russ show. But you see the tweet he put up. Let me enlarge it here. He put up a tweet that said. Hell of a tweet by hell of a guy. Yeah. <laughs> and put and put a clown emoji. <laughs> yeah. It. And then Jose says, thanks, pal. So uh it just look, man. It's not easy to get under Jose's skin, I will say that. He doesn't usually blow up, you know, usually just kind of yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. It's just so uh, far anyway. Yeah. Well, he's Obviously, some of this stuff is bothering him, or he wouldn't be doing, doing saying what he's saying. But uh, sure. But I just, I just feel like it's, it was a little bit, it was low class. What he did was a low class. Keep that stuff yeah, private. No class. <laughs> Keep that stuff private. Um, but Paul, I, you know, I applaud you for taking up for the team and, and the staff and doing it in a right. in, in a respectful way. Uh, well, thank you. We're yeah. a show, you know, we, and we're content creators. We're both fans. And, you know, so who better to know what something like that would do from our perspective? And, and that's the real perspective I was coming from. It did dawn on me after Emmett's tweet that, oh, yeah, there's the teammates and all that thing, too. It was really personal to me, you know, initially, only because, you know, like you said, I did advocate for him. And yep. uh, while it may have been on the court only, um, certainly. I, you know, he, he's always going to be a good basketball player. And, uh, I, I don't wish anything bad on him or anything like that. I, I hope he continues to succeed at Arizona State. But, man, just do your thing there. Tweet about your Arizona State shit and leave us alone. You know, like yeah. like Emmett said, move yeah. on. You know, a lot. I was swallowing him still. Or I wouldn't have saw this tweet uh, out of – I was rooting for him from behind the scenes. Like I wasn't public with it because it was just kind of like, it's kind of a nuanced situation, Mm -hmm. but not anymore, man. That's, you know, it's, I just move on from that player now. You know, I'm glad I didn't get more invested. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, you know, I I did a video on my football channel. I don't know, a couple year or two ago about, 
all these football players putting out these cryptic tweets about the football program, you know. Uh, yeah. At least, at least Jose is not cryptic about it. <laughs> he <does. laughs> Yeah. He's, he's, he's all the uh, way out in Arizona now, you know. I mean, it's, yeah. It's even worse looking computer keyboard warrior. Right. Right. Yeah. But anyway, well, guys, I want let us know what you think about this situation in the comments section. We want to hear your thoughts on it. After all, it's your yeah. show. Uh, we do this for you guys. We love doing it, uh, but we want to hear your thoughts on it. Also, don't forget, to, guys, to like it, please. Please hit the thumbs up button, the thumbs down button, whatever button you want to hit. Uh, if you like or dislike the video, please share it with your friends. Let them know about uh, who's from the hills. And a lot of people probably still don't know this show is, is around. Uh, most people yeah. know us from our football shows, Mountaineer Paul Talks Football and Cousins Corner. But here we talk nothing but West Virginia and Big 12 hoops, so mainly West Virginia. So, uh, so yeah, tell your West Virginia fans about us and uh, subscribe. We got we need to get that subscriber count up, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Paul, is there anything else you want to touch on before we sign off? No, I think that's about it. You know, I think uh, we got it off our chest, we kind of covered the topic. It may evolve into a few different – who knows what, you know, other players are going to speak out about this. And if it gets too hairy, maybe we'll do another update on this. But hopefully it's put to bed after this. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Hopefully so. Uh, the, the program definitely don't need uh, need any more, which I don't think it will affect the players that much. They'll probably say, yeah, it's just Jose being Jose Screw or whatever. Him. Yeah. Yeah. But nonetheless – uh you know, I, it probably won't affect them too much, but hopefully. But what I was going to say is that they, they've got enough drama to deal with, so they don't really need all this mess uh, on right. top of it. But this is not a big deal compared to the stuff they've been through. So, <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, guys, listen, thanks again for uh, tuning into this episode of Hoops from the Hills. Don't forget to check out our football channels. Uh, don't forget to check out my website, com. Until next time, this we are out. <laughs>